hey that was so cringe hi guys um so i've just arrived at the hilton at st george's park um i was meant to vlog my journey here but it was heavily disrupted my it wasn't straightforward i got to uh, london euston and my train was cancelled and i was advised to go to an, on another train and then when i got on that train it was already full up like how could i get on a train that's already full up when i've got a suitcase anyway it was just dramatic um so there was no point getting my camera out because it was just all a bit all over the place i had to change trains so many times but i made it and i've actually made it on time funnily enough i had to go to birmingham and then tamworth and then Burton on Trent and then got a cab to St George's Park and I'm here and this is my room um yay I mean I'll show you a bit more after I wonder whose room I'm staying in like you know the England squad were just here they left two days ago or was it yesterday possibly yesterday before they went to Poland I could be in Saka's room bro or Declan Rice or Mason Mount or Harry Kane or Sterling I could be in any of their rooms right now. It's insane. Um, let me show you the view. There's not much to see. Let's have a look. Oh, hello, countryside. Um, what's that over there? Not quite sure. But I had, you know, I had the... For anyone that's watched, like... Okay. For anyone that's watched... Um, the England YouTube channel's content where the players arrive and they jump out and they have the handshake and passports are collected and they walk in. I had that entrance. It's just that no one was there to see it. <laughs> and I felt like, oh my God, I know this. I know this place. I've seen it on the YouTube channel. Um, so it feels surreal to be here. It's quite amazing. And for anyone that doesn't know, I'm hosting um, an award ceremony tonight. So I need to actually hurry up, shower and get changed and get glammed up. That's going to be a struggle. I'm not really into the whole makeup and hair stuff. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'll make it work. Um, I did actually try to book a makeup artist and a hairstylist for today, but they wasn't available. They wasn't sure if they would be. They would let me know. They let me know a bit too last minute. And so now I'm stuck trying to make myself look cute. Anyway, um, excited to be here hosting the awards dinner this evening in about two hours time. Um, so yeah, I'll show you as much as I possibly can because I'm on time, but still haven't got a lot of time. But yeah, bye. So here's my room. I showed you the view. Um, I haven't turned the lights on. There's a nice little lounge chair to relax there whilst you're watching a bit of TV, little desk, mirror, um, the bed. It's quite comfy. I was literally chilling on there for the last 10 minutes and didn't want to get up. Whose room is this? Who had this photo in their room during the Euro stay? And this is the bathroom. It's been a while since I've been into a hotel when there's been a shower and a bath. Like, when do you even see that these days? Luxury. Hello. Wait, let me not do that. That's silly. Grow up, Pippa. Um, but yeah, that's the room. Just did a run through of the script and a mic test. Now I need to go back to my room and get ready. Um, and then dinner will be served and I'll be hosting the awards. I'm whispering because I feel awkward. Hi, <laughs> vlogging the whole experience. <laughs>
genuinely think in this day and age, if we've had a Kelly Smith playing now with the exposure that it has, she would be, you know, she'd be better than David Beckham. Sorry if that offends you. But she is the David Beckham. I'd like to see you stand up and say thank you very much to Kelly Smith. Aww. Not just for being here tonight, but for being a pioneer, for having the courage to do what she did and to be the, the genius she was as a footballer. Let's have you on your feet. So thank you. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm trying to get the good lighting here. So, um, an amazing night. Sorry I couldn't vlog more for you, but it's really hard to vlog whilst working. And to top it off whilst working, I was on the number one table with some very, very important people from the FA and Barclays. Um, so I couldn't just be like, hey, can you just vlog me whilst I get up on stage and present this whole award ceremony? But it was an amazing night. I was on the same table as Baroness Sue Campbell and Kelly Smith, the legend, Arsenal legend. Um, and to rub shoulders with those people was just incredible. Um, a really great night for, you know, grassroots football and girls football around the country and implementing girls football around the UK and England um, to be in all schools by 2024. It's an, it's an amazing um, work that everyone's doing that was here today. And great to see everyone face to face. It's just, it was an epic evening. I'm sorry I couldn't vlog more for you for you to see. Um, but I think this was the first time, well, I've hosted many events before, but I think this is the first time I've ever hosted an award ceremony so that was like a big um task for me to do but according to everyone there i did really well everyone was happy with the with the ceremony and how it was structured and the timings and time for dessert i mean well not dessert first like starters mains dessert um yeah it was a really great evening sorry i couldn't get more i wish i was more to look back on but i had a really really good time um had some good drinks afterwards as well and it's really yeah, just a great great um not only a great event but everything that barclays and the fa are doing to encourage more young girls to get involved in football in grassroots football is incredible and i'm extremely honored to be a part of it all and to be here at st george's park i've just been told obviously this hotel is huge from what i can see anyway um and I've just been told, it's been confirmed, this is, this is confirmation, exclusive information that I'm actually staying in this, the wing of the hotel that the England players stay in. So this, where I'm in right now, this whole, because literally, I can't lie to you, <laughs> I checked in, they was like, yep, this is your room number, um, it's just on the ground floor, all the way, um, they didn't say all the way, they said, this is the ground floor, that's your room number. I started walking and I was like, am I in the right place? Because I'm seeing 002 and my room is 049. I'm all the way down the corridor, around the bend, down again, around the bend, all the way down the end of the corridor. Um, and it's been told, I've been told this is where the players actually stay, this part, at this wing, all the way down the end, on this floor and the floor above. So I really could be in... Uh, I could be in... Wow, my mind's gone blank. I couldn't name an England player. <laughs> I really could be in Calvin Phillips' room. I really could be in Bukayo Saka's room. I could be in Marcus Rashford's room. Like, I could be in Harry Kane's room right now. Um, I don't know. I don't know, to be fair. But um, I'm in one of their rooms that I was staying in a couple of days ago. But forget that. It's been a great evening. Um, pleasure. Absolute honour to be the host this evening. Um... And yeah, here's to more girls getting into football in England. Cheers and good night. I need to try and find a way to get this dress off because I needed help to zip it up. It's the one that zips all the way up. Anyway, too much information. Good night. <laughs>